Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to Star Trek Discovery Season 4, Episode 4. I really enjoyed the last episode. Definitely the best of the season so far, in my opinion. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. I'm not... I don't know. I don't know. I, My relationship with Discovery, getting back into it, is sort of up and down right now. As of, like, the end of the last episode... I was excited, but now having been sort of a week since then, it's been kind of like, okay, I have to get back into it again. And like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to stay enthusiastic about it. That being said, I have seen some spoilery thumbnails for uh, season five episodes or like not today's season five episode, but like last week's season five episode. And I'm very interested to know the context and like why... How, why, I guess I'll find out eventually if, if I can get through this season four, but I don't know. It just feels like it's going to take so long <laughs> and I, I don't have the energy to just do every episode and like post them super quick so that I can get to season five, but I'll get there. Hopefully, hopefully. As for the rest of this season, not sure what to expect. The thing I'm most curious about in the, at the moment is... What's going to happen with Gray? And now that he ha he has his body, is he going to go back to Trill, do his own thing? Or is he going to stay on the ship with Adira? Like, is there going to be drama with that? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. But before I get into this episode, don't forget to like this video if you like it. And if you have anything to say about this episode or the previous episodes, please put it in the comments. Also, if you're not currently subscribed, but you like this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. It really helps me to stay motivated and helps the channel to grow. So thank you. I don't think I have anything else to say before jumping into this episode, so I will go ahead and do that. I also know bringing Navarre into the Federation will benefit millions. I hate politics. I haven't yet heard how they're going. We're all living in uncertainty. Is that an NX-01? To clarify, President Rillick did not imply a choice in the matter. Mm. We are to, and I quote, remain silent and look official. Nothing more. Well, interesting. Maybe I could volunteer in astrometrics mm. or study medicine. I, I don't know. It seems to make you happy. It might be a good idea to clear your mind before you make any choices. That is true. Besides, orders are orders. All right. Well, what are you going to do today? You know, other than. Well, I'm glad there's no weird complication with the symbiont losing. A previous host, or the memories of a previous host. Ah, uh, COVID changed the right people. Lieutenant Tilly? <laughs> Haven't seen this guy in a bit. You'll be on Shuttlecraft 11. The other cadets are waiting there. Why don't you... <laughs> Just children. Well, in a sense. That's what I'm trying to say. They're babies. Starfleet babies. One might say that today's exercise is about the very future of Starfleet. What's with this tie? Like the... The knot it looks like it's just like a piece of metal or something. So it's not technically a knot. Is that, is that a new life form? What? <laughs> Amazing. Oh gosh, this is gonna be cringe. So cringe. Okay. Well, once we arrive, we'll have six hours. Uh, at which point, we'll need to run. But hopefully, it'll it'll work out. Uh, before heading back to Federation headquarters. I can't tell. I haven't gotten a good look, but the the Orion ensign or cadet. I can't tell if he's got looks keep us pretty busy. prosthetics. Well, uh, maybe a little. Team building. I hate that they do that though. Just paint them green. They shouldn't have done that in the last season. Yeah, I think actually for this exercise, it's more useful for you to think of yourself as another cadet. You still have a lot to learn. What's happening? We've been hit. Well, didn't didn't Adira like fast track to ensign? Totally skipped cadet. So, I mean, even though they are capable, I don't think it would hurt to experience some training. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. This, this wraps around and we suture it until we can get to <laughs> Dang. Took too long. This is Kokaitis, L-class moon. We landed on the wrong moon? L-class is... It's not like you had a choice. In a hollow simulation, right? No. Nope. I'm sorry, I wish I could say yes. I hate I hate the prosthetics on his face. I can't get over it. Watch it. You see me working here? Hey. Hey! This is not the time! Stay out of hey, it! Hey. Whoa, 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 no. Are they about to kiss? Check my file, you'll see I'm top of the class. Great. Good. Now we all know each other a little better. 
Go team. I just think the, the prosthetics make it harder to express your face. Whatever. It's gonna bother me the rest of the episode. I'll try not to make too many more comments on it. Sir. Huh? It appears huh. you have a fan, Saru. <laughs> okay. Don't know what that's supposed to imply. Allowing for Navarre's immediate and unconditional withdrawal from the Federation, should the need arise. Well, is that a deal breaker? The Federation would never force any world to remain a member. Navarre is proof of that. What's, yeah, what, what's the point in having an exit clause if you can just exit, exit anytime anyways, right? It is illogical to rejoin an organization that seeks to impose conditions on our judgment. Perhaps we have moved too quickly in these times. Uh, she's gonna speak up. I may. She said, stay quiet. That was part of the order. Talk to her and see if you can find out what. Politics are not our place. You don't have to be political. You can be a little flirty, Saru. When a family member dies, their body is embalmed and then posed in a position that best evokes their life. Interesting. If you're willing, I'd like to try something different with our remaining time. As long as I can keep my fingers. I feel like that's reasonable, a reasonable request. Many would be happy to see Navarre and the Federation rejoined. Myself included. I too share this sentiment. However. There is nothing more I can do if the Federation is unwilling to compromise. Of course. I understand. It's basically a test to see if the Federation will compromise. Is this sort of like the the situation in Lower Decks when uh, Ferengi, Franganar was in talks and Captain Freeman was the one that was not fooled by the Ferengi tactics and so that really gave them a leg up, you know? So maybe, maybe something similar here. Someone has become political theater, I'm sure of it. That must be why she found a way for us to be here today. To cut through that. Then you do not believe that Adam hmm. Pence fell ill. Do you? Why us? That's what we have to figure out. Hmm. Interesting. I'm intrigued. Okay, freaking out won't help. Okay, I've lived enough lives to know this could be worse, so let- Thanks, Angu. I feel so much better now. <laughs> so there are thousands of life forms just outside, and they seem to be gathering. Huh? Ooh. Interesting. Whatever it is, it's not good. No kidding. Okay, interesting. I'm not as intrigued about this part of the episode, but it's not bad. I'm here for it. That's the same signature used by our equipment. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to mate with you. Sound design makes it seem like it's a horror movie type of thing. Thriller. You want us to go across all that? Yeah. She's your senior officer. Huh? What is he, what are they trying to build? This is a waste of time. Take a breath. Try again. You think I don't? I do like this part of the episode of Book going to therapy. Because he needs it. This programmable matter made to look like sand because of nothing but cheap tricks that he got from reading a damn holopad. Hmm. Lashing out. How long am I supposed to do it? A long ass time. Yeah. You got this book. Thank you for seeing me. Of course. But I must ask, have you come as a friend or a representative of the Federation? As a lover. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the tea thing threw me off, so I'm like, is there something there? Place your hands out. Palms out. Uh-huh. Okay. Your eyes are meant to remain closed, Captain. <laughs> Neither of you can budge from those positions, or you'll lose the support you need. But if a third party presents a... <sighs> Politics. All right, Captain. 
What have you got? It'd be funny if she didn't actually have anything and she was just like, oh, I was just trying to get you to stay, but... I see it! The creature! On the left! Oof. Huh? Can they duplicate? What the heck, man? Damn thing's hunting us. It can't see us with our equipment off. So we gotta keep moving to stay ahead of the storm. Well, hopefully none of you don't have have your equipment turned on because you're scared. So we're staying together. Head to you! Yeah, move your asses, gosh. What the heck? Interesting. Phenomena. Stay still. You're okay. You're okay. Don't turn your phaser on, but use it as like a an ice pick type of thing, you know? Whack your feet. Adira could have at least tied it around themselves. Themself? So it would be easier if we didn't have to count in an Orion. Hey, I'm just... Have you ever asked him about his history with the chain? There is common ground here, but you will never find it unless you talk to each other. Uh, his father was Bashor at Haral. Who's that? I... Yeah, give us the exposition. It's really good, you guys. You're talking. We need so much more of that. Right now, we need to make it to that bridge. Right? Yeah, get moving. Well, what's this compromise gonna be? The Cardassians waged war against Bajor and humanity, and now today... Bajor? It's Bajor. Your words are inspiring, Captain Burnham. But words alone are not sufficient. Yeah, what's the compromise here? I will be the bridge between you until you no longer need me. Okay. I thought... When she first started talking, I thought it was, like, a third party. Like, someone that's not related to either of them. But... Okay. Maybe, maybe I mis misheard. It'll take at least 60 seconds for the Armstrong to get a lock and beam us up. You better hope those guys don't get you before, you, before your time runs out. Once I'm clear, you turn on comms, you call, keep calling, don't stop. You got this. You can't just turn it on and then throw it. I know that they wouldn't be able to throw it far enough, but still. You ready? I have very, very high doubts that Tilly will die in this episode. Oh, oh dang, that was quick. We have to help. Fire phasers to draw it off. Oh, you got another one coming for you. Oh god, yeah. Last second. Gotta gotta make us uh clench our cheeks a little bit. And it's exactly what this new generation of cadets needs as the Federation rebuilds. Well, after what you've just endured. Is she gonna become a teacher? To teach at the academy is unlikely to fall on willing ears. But the opening is there. Anytime. She'll think about it. That's for sure. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'd like to see it. Welcome home, Madam President. Thank you, President Trillick. Nice progress. I must commend both of you on a job well done. Well, hopefully Burnham doesn't die suddenly and mysteriously. It won't happen because this is her show, but still. That would, uh... Put a damper on this relationship. Captain Saru. I'd like you in my quarters now. Will no. you join me for tea? <laughs> it would be my plan. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I hate I hate that. <laughs> hey, if it happens, I'm I'm here for it, man. I wasn't sure you were the right person for the job. But I'm glad you were. I appreciate that. What are you talking about? This is Star Trek Discovery. Burnham's always the right person for the job. Almost forgot about this part of part of the episode. Oh, babies, so cute. 
I know there's been something on your mind. I do like that uh, Burnham is able to still be a good friend to Tilly. Come to her quarters, even though she's captain. Well, you snored like crazy. <gasps> I had to get the... <laughs> That's so funny. It's not forever. You'll still see me around Fed HQ. And then, you know... You can always message each other and... While I'm sleeping so you can listen to me snoring like I know you... <laughs> Liked it. <laughs> <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> so I guess Tilly's leaving. Well, leaving Discovery. I'm sure she'll make appearances. I think that that snow globe should say Faith of the Heart. If it is the NX-01. I don't know. If I, it's kind of hard to tell. Nice. All right, and that's it. Good episode. I enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know. I, f I, have, I feel like if I keep, if the trend keeps happening where like by the time I'm starting the next episode, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to watch this. Then maybe, maybe that'll help me be pleasantly surprised every time the episode is actually decent. I think that's, that's what happened here is I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I had low expectations for the episode itself. It was just sort of like, I don't know. Today I've just been sort of in a, not in the mood, uh, really, to be, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Hard to, hard to put into words, but I think that helped me to have, or it subverted my expectations, helped me to, to enjoy this episode a little more than I might have. But not bad, not bad. I gotta say, the worst part of this episode, the worst part of this episode is the Orion makeup. Why? Why do they keep doing that to to the Orions? Like, just, just paint them green. Just paint their face green. You don't have to add any padding to their face. You don't have to make their nose all weird and rounded. Just, just, just paint them green. Please. I hate it. I hate it so much. If I never saw another Discovery Orion in my life, I would be happy. I would, I would die happy. <sighs> Gosh, awful. I don't know. I didn't mind that storyline with the, with Tilly and Adira and the cadets. Like, I don't know. It kind of, it kind of felt a little cheesy in the, in the whole like, oh, you, you need to listen to his story. Cause he, he has like the same, like a similar background or upbringing as you. Like, okay. I see what you're trying to go for here. A little, a little cheesy, but it wasn't bad. It was just, yeah, the Navarre story. Like I said, I hate politics. I hate, I hate, I hate politics in the show, but I'm glad that Navarre has rejoined the Federation. Glad that that worked out. <laughs> as much as I was joking about Saru and the president of Navarre, I don't know. I wouldn't hate it. Uh, maybe that's what they were actually implying. And I don't know. I don't want to make an assumption. But yeah, I, I don't know. I thought it was fun to just jokingly speculate, you know, J just just being silly about it. You know, I thought that was fun for me. I loved that we got to see Book make some progress. I loved seeing Dr. Colbert as the counselor. More specifically, I enjoyed seeing Book in there with Colbert and making some emotional progress so that was nice i hope we get to see more of that as the season progresses no progress on the dma here so hey i'm, I'm cool with that <laughs> i uh definitely prefer this kind of storytelling where we're not so focused on the big bad of the season necessarily like it, it's still there it's still it's still relevant in the background but it, it's not something that has to be in the forefront of the episode all the time um, so glad for that. I also can't get over Burnham's pronunciation of Bajor, but she said Bajor. Who says Bajor? Pfft. Stupid. It's either Bajor or Bajor with the zh. Get it right. Watch DS9. Anyways, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if I have anything else to say about this episode. I assume that since we haven't gotten any major progress with the dma 
that the next episode or the one after that will be heavily focused on the DMA, which is fine. Uh, I'm I'm glad for a little bit of a break. As long as they they keep those breaks coming, it's not so heavy on the <sighs> that storyline. I'd be okay. I'll be okay. But I know that as the season comes gets closer to the end, I will probably be disappointed in that there will be lots of DMA, lots of that particular part of of this season's story. So it is what it is. I'll I'll deal with it. Also, I enjoyed Tilly, uh, her growth, her realizing what she wants to do with her life. And I hope we get to see more of her in that role. But if not, then, I mean, it was it was nice knowing her. And I enjoyed seeing her as a teacher, so I'm sure she'll do well. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Looking forward to seeing what happens next. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll feel <laughs> at the beginning of next week's video, but we'll see. And hopefully I will see you guys then.